Hello, hello, good morning. It's when, uh, um, <laughs> it's Monday. I think I'm gonna do another cup of coffee. I am testing some paint samples for the entryway. I'm redoing this because I'm very over the blue and it just needs a facelift. I probably should have taken a photo or video <laughs> before I took everything off the wall. This was over there, so it's just a seat with, um, storage underneath for our shoes which I find kind of ugly but it was functional so I don't really know if I want to keep that or not um so this color is just a very light blue it's it's pretty I'm just kind of like over it all right so we have right here I've got Chantilly lace this is a creamy it's literally called creamy white and then this one, which I think might be closer to what I want, is Simply White by Bear. I don't know, I might go get some more samples. <laughs> this is also Simply White, which is the same as this one. Um, I'm wanting something warm, like warm white. And that's the same color. Um, and I was just, I just need to live with it for a few days. It's like gray and cold outside. Um, so I want to see it with a sunny day as well. I don't know when we'll have one of those. <laughs> so this wall is going to look like crap for a while. Um, but honestly, okay, in the phone, actually, you could see it better. In person, it's kind of hard to see that white right there. But um, I also want to do a wall treatment. So I'm thinking the wainscoting. <sighs> Let me back you up. So I'm thinking like rectangle, square, rectangle, or just one big rectangle, and then also one here. And then I want to get a console table and put this underneath, probably get a new one maybe. <laughs> this one is disgusting because my cat, which you just saw, just wrecks it. Um, let's see, I've got this console table here which I tried over there and I like but it's kind of small for that space and then I've got this one I got from Hobby Lobby which is like a better size um I wouldn't steal it I'd probably get another one but yeah I don't know why I'm so like dead set on changing this <laughs> I think once I get an idea for a project I get kind of stubborn about it and I just really want to see it through um, yeah. So anyways, I'm just testing those out, kind of painting a few spots. Part of me wants to order more samples. They're expensive. When did they get so expensive? These were like $6.50. Might as well just bought a gallon of paint. But I'm glad I tested these out because that middle one, which is called Creamy White, is like really, really yellow. I don't think I'm going for a yellow. I, I think I still want like a nice white. This house is so dark though. It doesn't really have a lot of natural light, which makes me sad. And then we have like trees outside the windows too, which will reflect a lot of the green. I'm um, just watching Miss Victoria Femhead on YouTube. Okay, so I just need to work in this front room for a little bit because let me show you, we have wrapped presents, which I need to go put upstairs. And we have boxes from presents and litter box footprints and just garbage. I'm gonna um, do some mopping and decluttering. Let's get to it.
here this is like one of my favorite makeovers that I've done I just um, painted it and did the wainscoting wainscoting I always say it wrong but I'm just like really proud of how clean and nice it looks very exciting and also painted the ceiling and never finished that Oh yeah. I think my only New Year's resolution is going to be taking better care of my paintbrushes because I hate to clean them. All right, so I'm just doing a little brain dump and trying to just get all my ping-ponging thoughts collected on one page. I have a few things that I want to try to sell and they've just been sitting in our house, some of them for years. Um, <laughs> because trying to sell something sounds very overwhelming to me because I, it just takes a while and like going back and forth with someone. So anyways, I'm gonna try offer up because I'm kind of over Facebook Marketplace, although I have had some success in the past. It's just, it's too much. So we're going to try this. I have an antique sewing machine that just sits around and I have nowhere to put it and I'm over it. I also have some stuff I got off Facebook Marketplace, like a, what is it called? like a chest, <laughs> like a vintage chest and it smells old and I don't have a use for it and it's just like not the vibe anymore. Like I want to get rid of it but then I'm also like once I redo this for an entryway would that be cool as like a bench? All right we just had a little snack. I guess you could call it lunch um, but I was like getting to the verge of starving and I had some rice cooking thankfully so I just did a bowl of rice with microwaved peas and I did like a sweet chili sauce with the uh, chili, chili garlic sauce mixed with maple syrup <laughs> and it was really good and little madam had peas pears and avocado so I'm gonna work in the kitchen a little bit while she plays. 
hopefully I can figure out where to sell this stuff. Um, the, the page that I was reading on Google suggested like an, a local antique store, which is a good idea because I've been to the one down the street a few times. I don't know. Um, like part of me just wants to get it sold. Part of me wants to like actually make the most money I can from it. Uh, good morning, happy Tuesday. I just put my mini me down for a nap. Um, and I've just been like editing this morning, drinking a smoothie and did some laundry. So very eventful. You've missed out on a lot. I have to get fillings today. So, um, I'm going to go a little early because it's at our like local outdoor mall and just go a little, get some shopping done <laughs> for myself, make the day a little more fun because fillings are the worst. Switch the door to swing the other way and let me tell you it is life-changing <laughs> Christmas week and literally everyone is out of school and work. <laughs> There's so many people here. Happy Wednesday. I'm just sitting here enjoying a cup of coffee. We've been up since Six. I've already taken a nap and the day is good. Um, it's pretty cold outside and I got this cute little beanie from my little shopping adventure yesterday from Altered State. Um, I really like it. I wanted like a cream white colored beanie. So what's on the agenda today? I am about to work on my Spanish. Um, I do Duolingo on my phone. Um, just about every morning for like at least 15 minutes and it's awesome. I, it's so easy to do and I'm noticing that I'm learning a lot and remembering a lot of Spanish words. 
Uh, my husband is Spanish, and so obviously my daughter is half Spanish, and I want to be able to teach her, like help teach her Spanish when she grows up. So that's like a huge motivator for me, and I've always wanted to learn and be more fluent. Um, so yeah, we need to go pick up groceries. We did another little order just for like through Christmas, because obviously we won't have time. I guess Christmas festivities will be busy. So um, we're gonna go pick that up once my daughter's up from her nap. Maybe we'll run into Target just for funsies. I don't know. Oh, the dentist yesterday. That went as well as fillings can go. It was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. I didn't realize they like already did the fillings in the back and then they were working on, I had to get like another filling in the front just to like fill in a chip. Um, so like I didn't realize they like already finished. And I was like, did y'all do the fillings already? <laughs> She's like, yes. I'm like, okay. Um, and I have like a lot of sensitivity. My mouth is just all sorts of messed up. I don't really know what went wrong. I'm wondering if like hormones changing from pregnancy might, might have messed some stuff up, but uh, I've had to get quite a few fillings in the past few years. An A student when it comes to oral hygiene, like I do the brushing, I do the flossing, I sometimes do the, the mouthwash. I don't know, just make sure you're like doing all the things so you don't have to go to the dentist like as often as I do. Juan necesita trabaja hoy. David trabaja en una fábrica. David trabaja en una fábrica. Bitchin sauce, and I've got some veggie chips. Mmm, yum. Mmm, that's really good. fat tip is to instead of oil use um vegetable broth or even water to like pan fry your stuff <laughs>
headed to Home Depot and to get a car wash and to do a return at UPS. Home Depot, I'm excited about because I'm starting on the entryway project. I'm really excited. So I'm doing the wall paneling. I think I showed you guys. And then I am going to DIY a console table. That's probably not gonna happen today. My goal is to get the holes filled on the wall, sanded, primed, painted, which always takes way longer than you think it will. <laughs> but I want it to look really good. I'm gonna go with the Simply White color. I think it's by Bear. Um, I haven't seen it on a sunny day, but I'm feeling confident that it's going to work for us because we like a clean, bright white, and it does have some warmth to it, like in the dark and the shadows. I'm really excited. Um, I spent most of the morning, quite a f couple hours, I guess, just measuring and drawing out and creating the vision, um, taping on the wall, just trying to figure out the sizing of everything. Um, I want the table a little bit taller than like a normal console table and it's going to be really long. And then I want the wall paneling to kind of just peek up above, just right on top of it. So it's going to be very custom. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be beautiful on my husband. I think he's on board. He's excited too. So He's one of those people where you have to like do it and show them and then they're like, oh, okay, yeah, but they can't, like the vision, he just can't see the vision in his head like I can. <laughs> All right, so that's where we're headed. Um, my steering wheel heats up and it's way exciting. Last night, I went to dinner with a friend. She took me out for my birthday. She got me the sweetest, most over the top gift she got me like a gift card to a spa and a few other like spa relaxing items. She was so sweet. And we went to one of the cool, nice restaurants, um, kind of in our, our downtown area in San Antonio. So much fun. And like all the trees outside were decorated with the Christmas lights. It was beautiful. Um, and it was just like a really good night. I don't really ever go out very much. So it was nice to like, after I put my daughter down for bed, I like got ready, got my makeup on and yeah, it was, it was a really good time. So, um, yeah, I will probably show you the footage of me working on the wall today. That's really my only goal. Cause this is like one of the free days we have. Um, so I have help with my daughter. Um, so I'm hoping to get a lot done today our fingers. <laughs> December 23rd and I just arrived at the spa 
Yes, I did. My husband booked me a little spa day. I'm so excited just to relax and read a book and leave my phone in another room and not worry about anything. Uh, it's going to be really nice. I've got a massage and a mani-pedi and they've got some, uh, they've got like a vegan wrap that I can have for lunch. So I've got, I'm all set. Um, not looking forward to the walk over there, although it's just a few feet. Uh oh, um, cause it's like 20 degrees outside. <laughs> so I'm all bundled up, but, um, I'm going to go enjoy a spa day and probably not take any video. So I'll see you later. day was a huge success it was absolutely lovely i think i'm gonna make that an annual thing for my birthday christmas kind of all rolled into one because you know it's a pretty penny <laughs> but it was so wonderful and so i'm right by our mall and i think i'm gonna go run into anthropology i've been eyeing a sweater and i keep thinking about it so i think i'm gonna run in and get it and then head home, hopefully make it in time for bedtime. I think I will. So I ended up getting my manicure and pedicure first and I just like laid my head back against the seat and <laughs> rested my eyes. But I mean, I was so tired. I felt a little bad because usually I try to make conversations so it's not like weird, but the nail technician was so sweet. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm just so tired today. <laughs> She's like, oh no, you just rest and it was lovely oh here are my nails by the way you probably won't be able to see them but they are like gorgeous kind of a pinky uh glittery shimmer it's just very Christmassy. um and then i had like an hour break between my mani-pedi and my massage and what did i end up doing i got a little lunch probably should have gotten more because i was pretty hungry and the portion size was really small um but I grabbed that and then I went back up to the lounge and ate that while I read my book. And then I had my massage, which was heavenly. They were so professional. Um, massages are never long enough. After the massage, I really wanted to go to the sauna. And I'm glad I did because it was like really lovely. So I did the sauna just for like five minutes and it was so warm and cozy and uh, I think that might have been my favorite part and I mean I love everything but the massage I always love a massage but she did a scalp massage and that was like probably even better than a massage which you really can't get much better than a massage um yeah, will highly recommend a scalp massage and the sauna. I think those are like top two on my list. And I think next time, maybe next year when I go, um, I want to get a facial. Maybe instead of a mani-pedi. I think that sounds really nice. And I haven't gotten one of those in years. So yeah, spa day. Very successful. Is this a parking spot?